RGB lighting problems are common with the HyperX Alloy Origin 60 keyboard. Let's identify the main issues and solve them systematically. The most common issues include complete RGB failure, partial lighting zones not working, inconsistent profiles, and software connectivity problems. Let's start with software solutions, which resolve about 80% of RGB issues. First, completely uninstall and reinstall the HyperX Ingenuity software. Always run it as administrator to ensure proper USB device access. Next, clear the Windows device cache through Device Manager and disable Fast Startup, as these can interfere with USB initialization. Also disable Windows Fast Startup in Power Options, which can cause USB initialization problems. If software solutions don't work, try a hardware reset procedure. For hardware reset, disconnect the keyboard, hold Escape plus F1 plus F2 while reconnecting USB, and wait for the RGB to cycle through colors. Here you can see the exact key combination highlighted on the keyboard. For firmware corruption issues, you'll need to access bootloader mode for recovery. Hold Function plus Escape plus R for five seconds to enter bootloader mode. A solid red LED indicates success. Then use Annuity's firmware recovery feature with the latest firmware from HyperX support. These systematic approaches resolve most RGB issues. Start with software solutions, then try hardware reset and use firmware recovery as a last resort. When basic troubleshooting fails, advanced techniques can resolve persistent RGB issues. First, we'll modify Windows registry settings to disable USB power saving, which often interferes with keyboard communication. For hardware level solutions, use a powered USB hub to ensure stable power delivery. This is especially important with older USB ports that may not provide sufficient power for RGB functionality. To resolve lighting profile corruption, reset the keyboard's onboard memory. Hold FN plus F12 for eight seconds. This clears corrupted lighting profiles and restores default settings. Prevention is key to avoiding future RGB issues. Update HyperX Annuity software monthly, use dedicated USB ports instead of hubs when possible, and always update firmware gradually rather than skipping versions. If problems persist, check your warranty coverage. RGB failures are often covered under the two-year warranty. Professional repair is available, but can cost 60 to 80% of replacement price, making it less cost-effective. Finally, here are the key statistics. Approximately 15% of users experience RGB issues within the first year. However, about 80% of these problems are resolved through software troubleshooting, making these techniques highly effective.